Hey, welcome to my free CodeCamp tutorials. Today we are doing convert XML entities. So let's click this one. Before I read the directions, let me bring this over to my code editor. All right, so the directions are convert the characters, these four characters and this one, so five in total, in a string to their corresponding XML entities. All right, so let's look at some of the examples. Dosi and Cabana becomes Dosi. Dose, Dose, is that how you say it? And then this is the HTML equivalent of the ampersand. And we got all of these. So we have to know what each symbol corresponds with, with, with what HTML entity. So before we go on, and before we figure out all those uh, con all those uh, HTML entities. I know what I'm briefly what I'm about what I'm gonna do is I am going to first make a string, and I'm gonna call this string an output, and I'm gonna build on top of this string, character by character from our parameter string, and if it is one of these characters, I will convert it to the HTML entity. Otherwise, I would I won't convert it. I'll just add it to our output. And after we are done doing all that, we will return our output. Now, let's do a for loop of string. For we could do a traditional for loop, or we could use a for of loop. I think for of loop will be better, more appropriate here. Uh, we'll do for const character of string like so. So we're looping over each character of the string. And let's do this. Let's go and consider all these scenarios. If character is equal to, I'm using a triple equal sign here, at the ampersand symbol, then what do we want to do? We want to append to the output, not the ampersand, but this thingy right here. Ampersand amp colon semicolon. Else if car is e triple equals to the less than sign, then output we're gonna append the this ampersand LT semicolon. And it is very important that you guys use, actually it's not that important, but I'm gonna use else if here uh, because we're only gonna go into one of these if branches. Uh, we're never gonna go into more than one. So else if car is triple equals to a greater than sign now, then output is going to equal ampersand GT semicolon. My keyboard's going out of control. All right, and then we have else if car is equal to a quotation, a double quote, I mean. So we could just refer that like that, reference that like that. A single quote wrapped around and a single double quote inside. Then output is going to be added to onto it. And what is it we're looking for? we are looking for this quote, ampersand Q-U-O-T, semicolon. And finally, but it still will be an else if condition, we have an apostrophe. So how do we set a character equal to an apostrophe? We can't do, we can't do that because the moment we write three, three apostrophes, it thinks the character string ends on the second one. So it doesn't know what this third one's all about. So one way we could do this is use double quotes instead and put a single quote in there. So this is one way to do it. So let's go with this method. And an apostrophe becomes what? It becomes ampersand a pause semicolon. I'll put that. And finally, if it is none of these characters, then we just want to append to our output the character itself without changing it.
without altering it anyways. So let's do that. Now we return the output here. Let's see if that went well. I'm gonna console log the result of this and run this code. So it does appear that we're getting the right answer. Let's see if free code camp likes this answer. Let me bring this over. Run the tests. And it does. So what are some ways we could refactor this? One thing we could do is we could define a dictionary uh, or an object. An object, aka a dictionary, is a key value pair. Um, and this is what we're going to do. I'm going to define it outside of our function. You don't have to. You could define it inside of our function like right here. But I'm, I just like putting our uh, objects which acts as a dictionary outside because they don't change. And I'm going to say const uh, HTML dict, short for HTML dictionary. And we're going to have two curly braces because it's going to be an object. And I'm going to say, if our key is this one, then the value of that will be the ampersand. If our key is less than sign, then the value will be this. And I think you guys understand the idea. We're going to do this for every single character that they want us to convert. If it's greater than, we want this. If it is quotation, then we want this HTML element. And finally, if we have an apostrophe, then we want a pos, like so. All right, so now that we have this HTML dictionary, we can do this, erase all of this. We gotta first check if our character that we're looping over, this character, this uh, variable here, which will take place of each character here. We gotta first check to see if it's the if it's in as one of the keys in our HTML dictionary. So one way we could do this is this if car in HTML dict, if the key is in the HTML dictionary, we wanna do something. What we want to do then is we want to append to the output the value of the HTML dictionary at that character. Otherwise, if it's not in it, then we just append the value of the character itself, like so. Let's see if that works. And it still seems like it works, so that's good. Let me just make sure that Free code cap is happy with this. All has pass. That is good. Now, one thing we could do is we could replace this if else condition with a ternary operator. We could say uh, car in HTML dict. Is that true? Then, and no, uh, before I go on, notice both of these conditions were appending to output something. So to shor shorten our code even more, we just say output plus or equals to, if car is in HTML dictionary, question mark, then append to it, HTML dictionary at key character. If not, append to it the character itself. So that is a shorthand notation of writing that. Might not necessarily be a more readable notation, but it is a shorter notation. And it still seems to work. If you wanna do a, see another way of doing this algorithm, uh, let me, before I show you guys, let me convert this to an ES6 notation. Uh, ES6 arrow function notation. Since we only have one parameter, I could get rid of these parentheses, put an arrow like so. Now I'm gonna use array.slice method. Uh, not not slice method. Uh, I'm gonna use a map method to shorten this even more. 
Now, I'm going to first convert the string to an array of each character separated in that string. And the way that I do that is like so. And I'm going to just return the result. I'm going to say string first converted to an array of all characters. The way that we do that is we say um, split at each character. That's what this means. Now that we have an array of all characters, we could map over it. And we're going to say each character becomes. Now we check for this condition. If car is in HTML dictionary, do HTML dictionary car or make it just be the car itself. Map gets each character, converts it to something else. In our case, if it's an HTML dictionary, we're converting it to whatever the value of that is. Otherwise, we don't convert it to anything. We just let it be. And now that we transform each character, we're going to join it back to a string. Let's see if this works. And it seems like it works. So one thing, another thing we could do, because we just have one expression inside the function, let's get rid of these returns and these curly braces like so. Let me clean this up a bit if that is at all possible. Yeah, I think that's a little better like that. Now, there's even a shorter way to more concise way to write this, we could we don't even need to check to see if the car is in HTML dictionary. Because if the character is not in HTML dictionary, when we do this, for example, let's say our C is, I don't know, uh, capital D. Then HTML dictionary at character C, which is capital D in our case, because it's not one of the keys here, what this is going to equal to is just undefined. So we could use this to our advantage. We could say map, make it HTML dictionary at character, or if that is a falsy value, for example, undefined is a falsy value. If it's a falsy value, don't use the value of this, then just use the character itself. This is a short circuiting logic. Uh, if this is a truth value, truthy value, use this one. It, otherwise, if it's a falsy value, use the character itself. Let's see if that works. And it appears it does. So I'm going to grab this. Make sure you grab the dictionary too. And run the test. There we go. Hey, thank you guys so much for joining me again today. Today we did convert HTML entities. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing a fun one, some or odd Fibonacci numbers. So please join me the next time we tackle this. I'm releasing these videos every single day, projects on weekends. If you like the content, please hit subscribe, please hit like, and I will see you guys tomorrow.